Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm hanging out in my sweatpants today, uh, just cleaning up around the house, farting around. My husband had to work today on a Saturday. So um, I was cleaning up my closet slash makeup room. Um, the light in there was like super extra today. The sun's just like right in the window and I don't have curtains in there. So I'm filming in the living room. I thought that would be a little bit better. Um, so I was cleaning up in there and I was putting all my makeup away because that table gets to be bananas as the week goes on. And I was putting my brushes away and it's out of control. It's out of control. So these are all my brushes. I had gotten this jar, which I think is so cute with the little eyelashes. I got that at um, Home Sense or Winners. I can't remember which. Um, and I was like, oh, this is perfect because I had a smaller one before and it, w it wasn't working. So I got this big one. I was like, this is perfect. I'll be able to find everything. And it's just gotten out of control. So I used to have a set of brushes that I left at the salon and then I had my set of brushes that I kept on my makeup station at home and then I had more brushes sort of in a drawer and I just decided one day that it doesn't make sense to have brushes in all these places that I would keep them all in one spot because when I do makeup at the salon I generally bring my train case from home anyway so I just decided Rather than having a bunch of different sets where like I have a favorite set and then I have ones that I sort of make do with, I rather have one set of brushes that I absolutely love that work for me and I'll just, I have like a big roll thing that you can roll your makeup brushes into and I'll just do that whenever I'm doing makeup either in the salon or on location for whatever um, event. So it's gotten out of hand. I can't find anything and I know there's a few brushes. There's definitely a few brushes in here, especially larger ones where I have doubles and I don't need doubles. Some of the smaller like eyeshadow brushes, it's nice to have a few because if one's dirty, I have a backup. So I will keep some extras, but I definitely don't need this many and I can't find anything. So like half of my time getting ready in the morning is just like looking for makeup brushes. So I'm going to lay everything out on my coffee table here and I'm going to organize them all sort of by category and then I'm going to declutter as many as I can. Okay, so now that I've got them all sort of laid out in categories, now I'm going to start decluttering. I just like found brushes that I forgot I even owned. So that's the thing. When you have so many, it just becomes like you use the same five brushes over and over and then you forget about ones that you actually have that you love. 
So first off, I'm going to get rid of both of these sort of, I never use these. I'd much rather a spoolie for the eyebrows and for the eyelashes. I just don't use these and like they don't even feel very good quality. This one I feel like you could pull it apart if you wanted to. So I'm going to get rid of those. They're just taking up space. I never use them. So I'm going to keep the two spoolie brushes because usually I like to use one to like fix my mascara if I've got clumps and then I use one for like eyebrows. So I'm gonna keep those. Now I have one, two, three, four, five foundation brushes and I like these two are my favorite for like buffing on um, foundation. This is the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush and this is the Luxie 732 Airbrush Foundation. These two are my favorite so I'm keeping those. I like to use this one here. It's called Luxie 660 Precision Foundation Brush. I like to use this one to actually blend in my concealer underneath the eyes and any blemishes that I'm trying to cover. So I'm keeping that one. I'm not gonna keep this one. This is just like a flat, this is an old, old MAC one. Um, this is just a flat foundation brush. I don't actually prefer that style. So I'm gonna get rid of that. I don't know that it's ever been used. Um, this one I'm going to keep. It's sort of like the artiste style. Um, I don't use this one a lot, but I do like it for makeup touch-ups. Um, so at the end of the day, if my foundation has sort of creased, I like to put just a little bit of powder on it and I can kind of blend in the areas where I've got some creasing. So I do like that. Um, and then I've got like a lot of these sort of powder brushes. Um, I love my e.l.f. Kabuki brush. I'm definitely going to keep that. I'm not going to keep it in the jar though because... It just disappears. So I'm going to keep that in a drawer in my makeup room. Um, this is another one of the sort of artiste style. It's not clean. Don't judge me. It hasn't been that long since I cleaned my brushes. So I'm going to keep that. I really like this one. Um, I don't use it every day, but it's good for sort of pressing the powder in, depending on what you're doing with your makeup that day. And then I've got one, two, three, four of these very similar just powder brushes. This one's a little bit more dome shaped. This is the Aesthetica P12. I got that in a boxy charm. And if you remember, if you saw the video, I didn't like it at first, but now I actually like it for applying blush. It's really, really soft. So I find if I just want like a light wash of color with my blush, I really like this one. And um, these are two old MAC ones and the bristles are starting to go in them. So I'm going to get rid of both of these and I'm going to keep this um, silk line one. I like this one actually for doing my bronzer because it's really soft. So I'm going to keep that. I'll show you guys at the end like all the ones I'm getting rid of. And then I've got three fan brushes. Um, I've got this one giant MAC one which I love for um, bronzer and stuff like that. So I'm going to keep that. And of these two I actually like this one better because it's got the synthetic bristles. So I'm going to keep this one and toss this one. And then I had bought that sort of set of the Artiste style, style brushes. They're actually made by Silkline. I had bought them um, on sale through Maritime Beauty. It was like a set of four. And these are the other two um, brushes that came in the set. And I don't know what you would use these for. I've tried them for different things. I thought this narrow one might be good for like nose contour or like smudging under the eyes. I don't like these. I can't find a purpose for them. So I'm going to get rid of them. And then I've got three of these sort of like eyeshadow type brushes. This one here is the glitter eyeshadow applicator from e.l.f. And it's actually like a little silicone dealy. Um, so I actually really like that for applying the like loose powders, like loose um, glitter eyeshadows. So I'm going to keep that. These ones I don't really have a purpose for, but I can use them at the salon for putting like the chrome um, pigments on the nails. So I think I'll wash these and take them into the salon. And then, so then I've got like all these, sorry, not that one. I've got all these sort of blush brushes at this point. So this one here is the Duo Fiber powder brush, the 516 from Luxie. So this is a different brush for me, but I do like it for putting powder underneath the eyes. So I'm going to keep that. And this one here is actually supposed to be a highlighter. So it's the Luxie 522 tapered highlighter. I actually really like this for blush, like more precision 
application of blush, so I'm going to keep that. The rest of them, I like this TG one. This is, oh my gosh, like the name is worn off of it. I've had it forever, but I like this one for dusting away like fallout. Um, it's just soft, and when I use this one, it doesn't press the fallout into my skin. It just kind of fluffs it away, so I'm going to keep that one. And then I've got these two BioElements ones. These ones were really expensive. So they were, BioElements is the skincare line that I carry at my salon. Um, they actually used to make makeup. They don't anymore. And I had this set of brushes, but I ha they were expensive, but I actually don't love them. Once you wash them, can you see, like they never really, it's almost like they weren't cut properly. So once you wash them, they just don't hold their shape. So I'm gonna get rid of those two. And then I've got two sort of angled ones and then two more like regular ones. I'm gonna get rid of those two. I remember these ones like not feeling really nice on my skin. These older MAC ones, they're the natural hair bristle ones. I actually find them to be a little aggressive on the skin. Like the hairs aren't really that soft. So I think I'm gonna get rid of these two. I think I'm gonna keep both of these two angled ones. I actually like those better for applying blush. Mm, no, I'm gonna get rid of the MAC one and I'm just gonna keep this silk line one. It's just a little softer, like testing it on my face. So I'm gonna keep that one. I've got this e.l.f. Um, I've worn the name off of it, but I think it was called like the Sculpting Face Brush or something. I like this one for contour right in there if you wanna like chisel the jawline. So I'm gonna keep that. And I've got three highlight brushes. I'm keeping all of these. Um, these two are by SL Miss Glam. This is the SG62 and this is the L36. I like this one for highlight and I like this one for applying um, powder underneath the eye. And this one here is a little bit more tapered and fat so I like this one for highlight as well. So I'm gonna keep all of those. I hope I'm gonna get rid of enough that this is gonna make sense. Um, and then I've got three, uh, they're like concealer brushes. So I've got three of those. And I'm gonna get rid of this. This is a Merle Norman one. I'm gonna get rid of that one. I find it a little too fat this way. See how fat it is this way compared to this one? So I'm gonna get rid of the Merle Norman one, and I'm gonna keep this. This was the, one of the Bio Elements ones. So I like this one for um, if you wanna do like a cut crease or anything, because it's got the right shape. And then this one here is the TG Rockin' Brush. It's a really different, oh, that weird flash back there. Um, it's a different brush. It's got that sort of point on it. The sunlight's coming in this window now, and it's like, I can't catch a break with the lighting in the house today. Ugh. We don't have like, we don't necessarily have blinds or curtains on every like room in the house. And this room, if I close the curtains, it's really dark because there's like one lamp in the whole room. So bear with me if I can, there. So this one kind of comes to a point. So this one is really great for cleaning up underneath the eyebrow after you've um, shaped your eyebrows. So those are all the big brushes sort of done. It seems like I'm still keeping a lot. Is it too many? I mean, it's less than I had before. So then I've got all these sort of fluffy brushes. So these are generally crease brushes. This one here is one that I like to use underneath the eye to apply my HD powder. Um, so I'm gonna keep that. Um, I'm gonna keep all of them except for this one. This is the TG VIP brush. It's just, it's natural bristles and I find it to be very pointy. Um, the rest I'm gonna keep because you always put a color in the crease. So it's one of those brushes that you're always using. Oh my gosh, I had to put some pillows on the floor to sit on. <laughs> this is starting to hurt my knees. Okay, so then I've got um, eyeliner brushes. So of all of these, I'm only gonna keep the Aesthetica one. It's got a really nice point on it. These two are older. This is a MAC one and that's a TG one. I find them to be too fat for actually doing eyeliner with. So I'm gonna get rid of both of those and keep this one. Um, I've got two sort of fluffier synthetic brushes from MAC. These are old ones. I've worn the, I've worn the names off of all of these MAC ones. I've had them for probably 10 years or longer. So um, I'm going to 
So I'm going to keep the angled one and I'm going to get rid of the flat one. I find this to be too big and fat to really do anything with. So I'm going to get rid of that. And then I've got, so these are really like lip brushes, but I do, I do sometimes use them to apply like glitter, like liquid shadows, like the glitter liquid shadows, you know what I mean? <laughs> Rather than use the applicator that comes in the bottle. So I've got some smaller and some bigger ones. I'm going to keep this one that's sort of long and I'm going to keep this shorter one and get rid of the other two. And so these ones here are all like flat, stiff, synthetic bristle brushes. I think this one is actually like a paintbrush. <laughs> so of all of these, I use this Luxie 245 small shader. I use this Alamar one that I got in, um, I think it was Boxy Lux that I got this one. Um, and the only one I ever really use is this uh, Bedhead Chic one. It's sort of a smaller version, and I'm going to get rid of these four. And then I have like this many sort of angled brushes. So some are fluffy, some are not. Um, so I've got these two MAC ones that are just in sorry, sad shape. So we're gonna get rid of those two and keep these three sort of smaller angled, like, you know, they're like the narrower ones. So these two small ones will replace those two Mac ones. And then this is a bigger Aesthetica one. And I really like that one. Um, and then of the rest of these, you know what? I use all of these. So I'm going to keep these. I like having the fluffier ones, um, for doing some like smoking out under the eyes. Um, this one's really nice for cleaning up underneath the eyebrow. You could actually do your eyebrows with that one. So I use all of these. So I'm going to keep those. I'm not going to get rid of brushes just for the sake of getting rid of brushes. Um, I'm, the point was to get rid of the ones I'm not using. Um, and then I've just got two categories left. So I've got shaders and I've got dome and pencil brushes. So of the dome and pencil brushes, these are probably the brushes that I use the most um, other than like the crease brushes. So I'm going to keep all of them except for this Mac one. It's like a weird flat topped fluffy brush. If you heard that dinging sound, that's my dryer is finished. <laughs> We're doing chores today. That's why I have like hardly any makeup on. Um, but this is part of the chores. So I'm going to get rid of this one and I'm gonna keep the rest. These are all ones that I've gotten fairly recently other than this MAC one I've had forever, um, but I use all of these, so I'm gonna keep them all. And then I've got so many like shader brushes. So these are the brushes you would use to like pack shadow on the lid. Um, so I'm definitely gonna keep this MAC one. It's just like a really nice flat not terribly stiff. This is a really nice one for packing like metallic shadows on. So I'm going to keep that. Um, I'm going to keep, I'm going to get rid of this Mac one. It's one of those short stiff brushes. I find it to be a little pointy. I don't really have a use for that. And I kept, uh, this Smashbox angled one that has a very similar brush on the other end of it. So I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm going to get rid of this. Um, this is another one of those bio elements ones. I'm going to get rid of that one. Um, I find it to be a little bit too dense compared to some of the others. Okay. I'm going to keep this silk line one cause it's nice and small. This Mac brush, look at the handle, look at the handle on that. That's wood right there. So I, when I was in a makeup rut once upon a time, oh, I can't get comfortable. Oh my gosh sitting on the floor. I'm too old for this. Um, once upon a time I was in a makeup rut. So if you watched my last video called my makeup journey tag, I talked about a point in time where I couldn't buy any makeup and that also included brushes. Um, so I got in like a weird makeup rut and in that makeup rut, I did all of my eyeshadow with this one old Mac brush. I don't know why it's something about this brush. I was just able to do everything with this one tiny little brush. I honestly hardly ever use it anymore, but I think I need to keep it for like, you know, sentimental purposes. It just, this was like my jam, this brush and like a Navy smoky eye or a purple smoky eye. That was my jam back in those days. So we're going to keep that for nostalgia. Um, I'm going to keep, 
I really like these silk line brushes. This is the set that I used to keep at the salon, so I always had brushes there. They were so inexpensive, but I really like them, so I'm gonna keep that one. This one I got, it came with my Naked Ultimate Basics palette. Um, so there's a shader brush on one side and there's a pencil brush on the other. I don't use this a lot, but I really like this type of thing for travel. So I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep this SL Miss Glam brush. This is the N15 eyeshadow brush. I got that, I believe, in an Ipsy bag. Same with this Luxie 239 Precision Shader. I'm gonna get rid of this Merle Norman brush. This is the 59944. I just don't really use it. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. And let's see how full my jar is. <laughs> uh, do I keep all of these? I think I'm gonna get rid of this silk line one. It's a little too stiff. Um, I feel like I have other, like, I don't have huge eyes, so I feel like the smaller brushes for me are better. I think that one's a little large. And I would like to keep one larger one, so I'm going to keep that MAC one. And this is the smaller Merle Norman one. I haven't used it lately, but oh, this is the 59942 Merle Norman one. I'm going to keep this one as well. So... It still looks like I have so many brushes, but they can move around in there now. And I think probably what I'd like to do is take out like some of the really big ones. I have like an acrylic stand on my makeup table where I have like, you know, my setting spray and some of those types of things. So I think what I'd like to do is take maybe like the like foundation brushes out of here and put them in that. So let's take those out and just see. Yeah, if I take my foundation brushes out, I think that's much more manageable. So now I can at least move them around to look at the look for the brush that I'm looking for, if that makes sense. So I think those will go in my little acrylic stand and the rest will stay in this little jar. So I got rid of all of these brushes. So I got rid of a lot, oh, weird lighting. Um, sorry about the lighting today, you guys. Um, so I got rid of a lot. I do have a lot of friends that have been saying if I did a brush declutter that they need some brushes. So for my girlfriends watching, if you saw anything in here that you need or want, let me know. Um, so yeah, I got rid of a fistful of brushes. That feels pretty good. This is much more manageable now. And uh, now I think as I get new brushes, now that I've decluttered the bulk of the ones that I'm not using, now I think it'll be easier. As I get new brushes in like Boxy Charm, Boxy Lux, I'll be able to decide, okay, I got these new ones, I like these better, I'll get rid of this one or whatever. So I think I've now got it to a little bit of more of a manageable place, I think, for like a person in the beauty industry. I think if you're if you're the average person just doing your own makeup, you probably don't need this many brushes. This is probably excessive, but I do do makeup applications and I do, you know, makeup lessons and stuff like that in the salon. So I like to have some extras. I like to have some backups and I don't wash my brushes as often as I should. So I like to have some doubles so that when, for example, one of my foundation brushes is dirty, I have another one so I don't have to wash them um, quite so frequently. So. Um, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!